what's up what's up what's up welcome to my youtube channel it's me your homegirl adosha wright the author of curly hair adventures what they don't tell you at the hair salon and the beauty and barber survival plan that's available for free on my patreon page at global hair care you know so that's how you can find it so to those of you who are new to my channel welcome 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 i am simply here to tell you everything that they don't tell you at the hair salon taking out all the guesswork in my home girl home girl home girl fashion all right so today we're going to jump right into the topic which are all about thermal protectants now thermal protectants is one of those words that people have been buzzing around um, I'm sorry, the word has been buzzing around and people have been using them. I'm going to say for approximately maybe like 25 years. So here's what they don't tell you at the hair salon, which is what my book is all about. You guys have to understand that in the beauty industry, there's this big M word, okay? Big M word, and it's called marketing, okay? So a lot of these words are being refined refurbished or repurposed. So thermal protectants is one of those words that's new, it's catchy, it sounds really, you know, fancy, but you know what it boils down to? Put something on top of your hair so you don't burn it out. That's really what a thermal protectant is. Now, thermal protectants got their buzzword because there was a time when hair just had to be fluffy. And that time was during the 70s. Everybody wanted that bouncy, fair faucet. You know, you know, you know. Well, times have changed and people are starting to realize and admit, you know what? That wasn't the best way to, you know, to represent hair because people's hair was definitely falling out and then you have people really going above and beyond trying to get that fluffy look depending on the texture of the hair so of course those people who had more textured hair and was trying to get the fluffy look their hair was coming out a lot faster than those people who had less texture texture and was wearing the fluffy look. So now we're we're up to date and uh, watch out for my little waterfall necklace here. So now we're up to date and we're realizing, you know what, the fluffy hair is coming at a cost. So there is a way that you can get hair that's flowing and moving. You can get your locks twisted. You can get your hair coiled. You can get movement. But guess what? It doesn't have to be dry. And so people use heat on all forms of hairstyling. So when it's cold outside, most people are not going to walk out with their locks, their twists, you know, wet. And so most people, if they're doing a wash and go, more than likely they're now going to start using a diffuser or maybe sitting under the dryer for a little bit of time to take out some of the moisture so when they walk outside, they don't get... <laughs> brain freeze, all right? So heat is being used on just about all various hairstyles. And heat protectors or thermal protectors are now, more than ever, they are the hottest things smoking. But you know what they don't tell you at the hair salon? You know, all thermal protectants are not created equally. So here I'm going to break down. Now remember, I'm going to break down the different types of thermal protectants. So as you all know, when you buy my book, which by the way, what they don't tell you at the hair salon is now available at the LaDosha Wright Amazon store. And it's also available on my Shopify dot global hair care okay so those are two ways that you can purchase the products online and then of course if you are in or near the greater cleveland area you can come right here to the reference design team and we will put them in your hands or and we also have curbside assistance available for you okay so remember it's not about the brand you know my book is always teaching what hair care and hairstyling are about three things the right products the right tools and the right techniques let's say it again the right products the right tools and the right techniques i just thought i was trying to be cute okay so mooses so let's start off with mooses now of course you know i'm gonna start off with my own because you know it's my youtube channel all right so now um, so this is called amplifying foam. I don't know, the light is kind of like, you know. Anywho, so this is called amplifying foam. There you are. So foams come in various 
various forms. You have this one, um, and you also have Nairobi. So you have a lot of different foams out here. So foams are great thermal protectants. Why? Because they can be light, they can be creamy, some of them cannot have any oil at all, and uh, they make the hair nice and fluffy. Fluffy foams are good for sitting under the dryer. They're also good for using the handheld dryer, and they're also good when using your, <coughs> excuse me, your Rev Air device. So those are the different, uh, you know, modalities of heat, all right? So how do foams protect hair? So what foams do is that they sit on top. Foams typically don't have any polymers. Polymers are like made out of like plastics or derived from, you know, some type of a plasticky, sticky substance. So foams are usually, you know, um, very creamy, they're water-based, they're water-soluble, they rinse out very easily. And when you put heat on top, they don't necessarily uh, coat the hair more, so they make the hair a conductor of the heat. And when you dry, the hair gets more fluff. So that's the beauty of the foam is that it's going to allow you to, to layer on more products. So remember, it doesn't matter the brand as long as it's the right kind for your hair. And on this channel, I am promoting my foam, which is your amplifying, amplifying foam, and then also, <clears throat> excuse me, the Nairobi foam. Um, this one, uh, it's very multifaceted. So both foams you can wash and wear, but in this instance, we're talking about heat styling, okay? All right, next up, what's another type of foam I forgot to mention? It's just a good old-fashioned mousse. So this one is by Milkshake, and uh, here it is. Uh, there it is. Okay, so this one is by Milkshake, and again, it's a creamy leave-in conditioner. Now, the beauty of leave-in conditioners is that they're always working, and mousses, again, are great for what? Setting, scrunching, so they give you this really nice springy hold where the hair is more pliable. So foams and, I mean, um, yeah, so foams and mousses are really, really good for curls, they're good for locks, they're good for twist stylings, they're also great for blow drying and wrapping. So you have these. So this one is a little bit heavier and these are a little bit more uh, more water-based and your, your uh, mousses are going to be a lot more creamier. You see that? Whereas the, the, the uh, Nairobis and mine, they're a little bit more watery. So I'm just showing you how nice as I layer my hands with all these different products. So when it comes to heat thermal protectors, I'm sorry, you have your mousses and you have your foams, okay? Foams, mousse, okay? Foams are more water-based. Mousses have a tendency to be a tad bit more creamy or a little bit more weight, all right? Oh, also, <clears throat> excuse me, foams are more so for wrapping, you know, and mousses are for like scrunching curly hair. But they both can be used if you're going to twist your hair, you know, uh, tighten your locks, blow dry, roller sets, straw sets, things of that nature, all right? Next up, we also have the good old fashioned pomades. Now, pomades get a really bad rap when it comes to heat because people think that when you put oil on your hair and you use the, the flat iron or the straightening comb, you're quote unquote frying your hair. <laughs> No, you're not. Hair is an excellent conductor of heat, so to the point that it can burn off easily. But that wouldn't be the heat fault, that would be the user of the heat's fault. So, if you wanna protect your hair with the heat, depending on the look, <clears throat> excuse me, um, <clears throat> you definitely want to use a pomade. Pomades will, you know, coat the hair a little bit more and they don't rub off the hair as fast as your lighter thermal protectors. So mousses, they have a tendency to brush off the hair. The hair may revert back a little bit faster, particularly, I'm sorry, I said mousses, foams. So foams and mousses, if you're flat ironing your hair, um, the hair might revert back a lot faster. If you're working out, you may experience that it's not lasting as long. And that's because these are primarily water-based. Your mousses or your, uh, your creams, creamy mousses, they 
they have a little bit more oil, a little bit more weight. Your foams, they typically don't have any oil in them at all, okay? So that's that. Whereas if you're gonna use the pomade and you're gonna work out or you want the hairstyle to stay straighter longer, you're gonna get the best bang for your buck when it comes to the longevity of how long your hairstyle will last if you use a pomade. All right, next up, another great thermal protectant are oils. Now, oils, you got to be, now here's where you got to be a little bit careful, especially if you're using food grade oils. So that those are oils that you go into the grocery store and you buy versus your synthetic oils like this one here by Miss Kenya Moore, which is selling like hotcakes. You can check her out. She has, um... Um, her products are available on Instagram as well as Amazon, and I believe they're also sold at Sally's, okay? So this is a synthetic oil, and this is a, uh, a food-grade oil. So food-grade oils, you have to be careful because they can with only stand so much heat before they burn and begin to smell funny on the hair. So olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, you know, um, peanut oils, they smell funny and they burn really fast. Uh, your avocado, you know, um, your grapeseed oil, and uh, let me think of another one, grapeseed and sunflower seed. So those oils can withstand, you know, a, a little bit more heat. So make sure you read the bottle. If you're gonna buy something from the grocery store and put it on your hair, it's typically, typically going to tell you how much heat that oil can withstand. And for the record, the oil doesn't know the difference between a skillet or a flat iron, so don't 450 degrees, it's 450 degrees, be it a stove or a flat iron or an oven, so it doesn't matter, okay? So let's see, what else do we have over here? Um, oh, we have your sprays, okay? So sprays are, um, you have thermal protectors that come in the form of a spray. And so these typically work by um, having ingredients such as polymers, they may also um, have anti-humectants to keep the hair from reverting back. There are a plethora of them on the market. Remember, price doesn't necessarily mean that it's better. It just means that it costs more. But also, price can mean that something is not as good. So you're going to have to use your discretion. But understand, this is a pandemic. So when you buy these products, you know what? You can't take them back. So please use discretion by sample sizes. Um, if it doesn't work, maybe for you, maybe repurpose them and give them to a family member or maybe you can sell it to another family member so you don't lose all of your money. But during the pandemic, you can't always return. So your spray uh, thermal protectors are great in the sense that you can get better coverage. You see that as opposed to trying to rub something in it might be a little bit more difficult. So spraying gives you that versatility of getting the product throughout the hair a lot more easier. Um, also, spraying and thermal protectants, they give you a lot more movement and the hair is a lot fluffier. Another thing, spraying and thermal protectants can sometimes double as a very light holding spray. You see that? Now, it's not gonna hold for very long, but until I finish this video, I think I'm gonna be cute. So sometimes your spray and thermal protectors can you know have um dual functionalities so this one here is called define it's a two in one gel spray so you can spray this on your hair wet and scrunch your curls you can also spray it on your hair and flat on your hair and it's going to give your hair a nice soft buttery feel also, uh, thermal protectors can have proteins in them to help make the hair um, become a lot stronger as you work down the fabric. Another one of my th favorite thermal protectors, of course, is Geo Deca. So, Deca Plus Satin Tame is uberly multifaceted, but it's wonderful for thermal styling because you can just spray some on your hands like so. 
And then of course you're gonna rub that around like you're putting on lotion and you can apply it through your hair. And then of course you're going to comb it through and then you can proceed with blow drying and flat ironing. So you can double this up. You can spray it on your hair before you blow dry. All right, and then blow dry your hair or you can wrap your hair or you can wrap your hair and sit underneath the dryer. And after you're done, you can take a little bit more, spray it on your hands, rub it in, and proceed with flat ironing or pressing your hair. So um, these are all the various modalities of how you can use a thermal protectant. Thermal protectants usually have the base of like water. They also have the base of oil. And they may have the base of a polymer, which is a, a synthetic, um, stickier, tackier in ingredient that when you go to flat on the hair, you're gonna get some type of a shield protection around each individual strand so that as you live in the hairstyle, it doesn't revert or it doesn't break off. Uh, you have the option if you have more texture then of course you want to stick with you know your more oilier or, or uh, uh, mineral oil type thermal protectors because the hairstyle will last longer if you don't have as much texture then you can go over to your creamy mousses or you can move into your light uh, foaming uh, agents and so these don't have any oil very if any at all you can use these and they will work fine and then you also have these uh, serums and creams like your Kenya more hair growth serum which is safe for using us a light amount of heat so remember to read the directions and then you have uh, the rev air tribology line they have two wonderful thermal protectants they have um, play it straight and then they also have wave goodbye and these are both cream thermal protectants and they are all about helping the cuticle lay flat so that as you use their device it's going to pull the hair nice and smooth and that is a wonderful wonderful thermal protectant though with the rev air you know what it has so little heat you may not even you know notice that much of a difference when it comes to what type of thermal protectant you use with the device simply because you're not using a lot it does use a lot of heat so with the rev air device you can use a cream a spray in leave-in conditioner you can also use like a, a foaming mousse I left a little bit up there you can see that or you can use a nice just regular foam product such as mine amplify foam or you can use the Nairobi they don't hurt the device because they don't have oil if you are using the red air the manufacturer does not recommend that you use any oil like this or something really heavy um, or something that's really rich and creamy so again be sure that you are reading the manufacturer's instruction on all your devices and I guarantee you you will not have any problem when it comes to using heat on your hair. The thermal protectants are about making the hair a better conductor of heat in a safe fashion without compromising the integrity of your curl, your coil, your wave, your fro, or your straight hair. It's just that simple. That's what they don't tell you at the hair salon. Thank you so much. Please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Of course, share the video. And if there's anything that you want me to discuss, please type it in the comments section. I'll feature you and, I, and your question, and I'll make sure that I answer it for you, okay? You know what I say when I'm always signing out, right? A whole lot of peace, a whole lot of love, and a whole lot of hair. And if you ain't got no hair, I ain't interested no hair, can't grow no hair, can't stand hair. Then you know what? Just rub your beautiful, 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 Ball head. Thank you for your support.